dollars. Less than thirty dollars. Yeah. Thirty dollars. Yeah, about thirty dollars, Indonesian dollars. And we are not sure if it's gonna work for us because here in uh, Canada, during the winter, especially here in Manitoba, it's extreme cold weather and. Um, starting to peel off right there and the front as you can see the marks of the burnt skin still there it's not that much itchy but it looks really really disgusting yeah so this is the under of the foot and it's really gross The heel is not feeling too much, but the in betweens of my toes, as you see, is really starting to peel. In the instruction, it says you're not supposed to peel the skin, like, you just have to uh, wait for it to naturally shed off. but I just wanted to show you that it doesn't hurt when you try to 
to peel the skin. Day 5 Now, my feet is starting to shed skin or dead skin cells um, from toes to in between going down to the heel. So my toes is coming very very hard. Same goes to the other foot. It looks like a snake shedding skin. We are now on day 9 and yes it took us 9 days to complete the peeling from our feet and this is how it looks like now. So the peeling is finished but there are some dry skin left and at the bottom some traces of scabbing over here is left. And here. This is my foot after nine days. It did not actually completely remove the callus from here and from here, but it did lessen though. And then on my other one, it's the same did not completely come off remember when I said um, it's itchy so it did actually um, leave some rash and these are the marks so I'm hoping it would come off anytime soon because it doesn't look nice and it I have more here about it that's our review for that uh, foot peel mask it's not a very good one but skin types are all different so I don't know on our case I don't think it worked as we imagined it it did work but it did leave some marks that yes. are very unpleasant so yes that's all for now so don't forget to like share and subscribe Bye. See you next time!